I play a character called Nadal, who is a nuclear scientist. Who's he basically he's called Nuclear Nadal in that way that Chemical Ali is called Chemical Ali. So um, I am in the past somebody who built nuclear weapons for Sasha's character in the movie, and to a degree that is so almost successful, but then he and I get in an enormous fight. There was a lot of research we did, you know, like I went to MIT and I went, I did graduate work in nuclear physics for about a year, you know. Um, and then of course, just to get into like really some of the other stuff, like we traveled to like, you know, uh, training camps in Pakistan, reached out to a bunch of Al Qaeda people. No, we didn't do anything. We, there's no, there's no research. I had a giant beard and they were like, great, you can do it. So in the movie, Sasha's playing the leader of this kind of, you know, oil rich, uh, Middle Eastern, North African country called Wadia that is, that he's a, like a brutal dictator of in his mind, but in reality is just being handled by all of these people. It, to me, it's like a classic kind of Peter Sellers character or almost like a, like a Jerry Lewis character. It's a character who has like a real, like, a pompous kind of bluff and bluster to him, but in reality is po almost powerless, you know, is, is just kind of an ineffectual fool. To shoot that scene was just like a blast because it really is just, you know, Sasha and I in a screaming fight with each other over whether the bomb should be round or pointy in front of this like massive, like, you know, missile we've built and it looks awesome. Shooting in New York has been a blast uh, in the sense that, like, it's fun to do all of these crazy, like, we're doing all these crazy scenes running down the streets, going, you know, whatever, all these kind of big crowd scenes, all sorts of really fun stuff, and it's great to do it in and around all of, like, these great New York kind of sites. Sasha has surrounded himself with a lot of great, you know, writers, obviously, Larry Charles, the director, they've worked together before, like, there, there's a great core group of people that have all worked together and have a dynamic that really works to create good stuff. When people go to this movie, A, I, at, the very, at the very least, all I want is for people to be like, that was f***ing hilarious. That was funny. And then also, like, I think if, if people are like, there's a lot of stuff in there that is relevant to what's been going on now, that's interesting. It's interesting that, that this movie was made about stuff that is kind of in the zeitgeist right now. What I understand to be the kind of ethos of Sasha Baron Cohen is just unrelenting commitment to a character or a bit or an idea, like to the point where, and now, you know, I've heard stories from him where his and the people around him's like safety becomes an issue. I think this movie's a lot different than Sasha's other movies in that this doesn't take place in the real world. Like, this is just a straight piece of narrative fiction. 